Hey, I'm Jim Weber in the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Still got a several areas that we're watching. We've got uh, now Tropical Depression Gordon made landfall last night as a tropical storm. Now, it's still dumping quite a bit of rain across Florida into Alabama and also into Mississippi. Then you've got Florence out into the Atlantic. This is now our first major hurricane of the season winds of 120 miles an hour the tropical wave is also known as invest 92 that's an area we'll watch in the far eastern atlantic as we go through the next several days really into next week so here is now tropical depression gordon 32.3 90.2 top winds are down to 30 miles an hour it's moving to the northwest at 14 miles an hour now it's going to start to slow down as we go through the next day or so and that's slower forward motion is going to allow this system to dump more rain across the lower Mississippi Valley. That will increase that threat of flash flooding and floods in general across this area. And then as we get into the weekend, it turns more towards the north and the northeast, picks up that forward motion, heads towards the Great Lakes, the forward motion, and just it won't have as much rain with it by the time it heads up in that direction. No, not going to be a concern up in that direction, but across the lower Mississippi Valley over the next, say, 48 hours, have to watch for that flood threat. Now, you look further into, into the Atlantic, there is Florence. You can see that distinct eye with that 120 mile an hour hurricane. It's a very compact hurricane. And you know what? That's important to note with this system because it's been dealing with some fairly strong wind shear from the south and the west blowing over the top of this system but even though it's dealing with some stronger wind shear, it's been able to actually increase in intensity. And a big part of that is because this is such a small system. It's very tightly wound, and that is probably helping this system at this point. Now, it will continue to be dealing with this wind shear over the next couple of days. So eventually, it does look like it will start to weaken some, or at least that's the thinking right now. And then once that wind shear decreases in a few days, it will re-intensify. And also down on the right-hand side of the screen, that is Invest 92. So here's the latest on Florence, 22 degrees north, 45.7. Top winds now up to 125 miles an hour. It's moving to the northwest at 13 miles an hour. Watch this track as we go through the next couple of days. It does do some of that weakening as I mentioned, just because of the persistent strong wind shear blowing over this system. But we've got to watch this long term beyond what that forecast track is showing because it looks like the bridge is going to be building to the north of this system and that could have a big impact on this system as we go into the long term. Now, you look further out into the Atlantic, there is Invest 92 Hurricane Center. Puts about a 90% a chance of development with this system as we go through the next five days. And it's just going to continue to work its way on towards the west. And the big key with this, it has, it has to deal with a lot of dry air as we go through the next several days. Watch this here. A couple of areas to watch. You've got, you've got Florence, and you also have Invest 92 on this map. So as we put them in the motion, notice there's Florence working its way on towards the northwest and eventually as that ridge builds to the north of it, it turns it more towards the west. Now remember, we are talking long, long range at this point. So is it going to play out exactly like this? No. But it gives you an idea of something we could be dealing with in that Florence could be pushing further towards the west and closer to the east coast of the U.S. as we head, head into the middle of next week. So we've got to watch Florence right now. Be, a couple of days ago, it looked like Florence was basically going to be heading out over open waters. Now it looks like this is something that we have to watch. And then we also have Invest 92, which just struggles as it continues to work its way across the Atlantic, dealing with that dry air. If it can somehow survive that, once it gets over towards the Caribbean, the wind shear will start to pick up over the system. So we'll continue to watch both of these areas and keep you updated right here on MyFoxHurricane.com.